Here in agriculture, we're all about innovating to nourish the world. And this facility and this building and all the labs and teaching space really help support that mission and vision. So this space was designed for collaboration. Uh, and certainly in our old building, we didn't have the kinds of seating that you see around us here where students could get together and study, or if you have a break between classes, uh, that you could just hang out before your next class. In fact, one of the questions we've really been wondering is where were all these students before we moved into this building? Because they weren't in the old ag hall, they went somewhere else, and now they're hanging out here, which is great for us because it creates more of those uh, accidental interactions between faculty and students, between student and student. It's very important, and in the old building, we didn't really have a whole lot of space for that. Um, there weren't any of the huddle rooms, and now in this building, there's huddle rooms on every single floor, and those are just small rooms with TVs um, where students can go and study. Last night, I was actually here till 1.30 a.m. Um, I had a really big test this morning, and it was just an awesome space to meet with some of my classmates um, and take advantage of the technology in those rooms. The new space isn't just more conducive to collaboration. The layout and technology upgrades make the entire learning environment more accessible. Oh, the classroom space is amazing. Compared to what we used to have in Ag Hall and the teaching rooms that we have, this new space has all the technology. And so I've got many students from around Oklahoma and the U.S. that are able to live stream in. You know, across the space here, this is an example of a classroom. Of course, the other thing that makes this unique is the fact that we can see them and they can right. see us. So it's very, very different than our old style classrooms. I think they've gotten a little bit used to it. You can see they're ignoring us now. The first few weeks of class, there was always a lot of uh, back and forth there. One of the favorite things about this is the laboratories, how we have so much in one area. So our new soils lab has a freezer, has a cold room, has a growth chamber. Uh, a year ago, we have a freezer unit out of the agronomy farm. So my students would have to, you know, leave campus, go to the agronomy farm, set out soils, work there for an hour, come back to class. Now they can come right into the lab, pull the samples out of the freezer and between classes, get a lot of work done. So the efficiencies, again, what we can do is so much better. And that means I can bring more students in and more undergraduates have that experience of the laboratory. In addition to classroom and lab resources, there's also space for students to build community and even prepare for the professional world. The Student Success Center is a pretty special place and in the old building we called it the fish bowl because of the glass windows, um, but in here we get to call it the fish tank. Um, but they can take advantage of the computer resources where they can print off their resumes on the special resume paper, um, but it's also just more than that. It's a place for the Ferguson family to really come together outside of the classroom. We're standing here in front of the dairy bar. This is kind of the newer rendition of the dairy bar. Why was it important to, to bring that back and, and kind of bring life back to that? We talked to our alums. A lot of them really have fond memories of the old dairy bar that existed just down the road from us here. The students got together, they collaborated, they exchanged stories, they played cards and dominoes. And so that's something we're hoping we can carry over to the new building is that same sense of connection, that same sense of networking, and that ability for people to relate and connect to each other in a more modern environment.